Hi guys, thank you so much for giving me your feedback on the last scheme earlier this week. I am pleased to say that I think the feedback you've given me here has uh, resulted in some uh, pretty drastic improvements. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the new floor plan and walk through the changes. So starting off, I have shrunk the garage area back down to the previous size, giving that leftover room to the game room, foyer, and porch. So now uh, these spaces are a little bit wider at the expense of the garage. Um, but outside of that, at the front, things are pretty much the same. The ADU is unchanged from the last scheme. And we'll get to the master suite at the back, but by reducing the depth of the garage, we have shifted some spaces down to give that space to the master suite. So from the foyer, we would continue through this cased opening into the skylit hallway. Uh, one change I have not incorporated is that I would not want to see your son's bedroom door right here in line with this uh, hallway or the skylights. I feel like this is really a premier art spot right at the end of the hall, the skylit hall. And shifting the door over here really sort of creates an awkward bed wall situation for this bedroom. So I do think it is best to have the door into this bedroom still uh, shifted over this way in the hallway between these two skylights, plenty of light coming in, quick access into the powder or bathroom. Uh, and I just feel like it's better to see art here than it is to see an open door and any mess that might be in a kid's bedroom. So uh, coming back down this hallway, the change that I've made here per your direction of putting the kitchen on the left and the dining on the right, I feel like it works really well, but I have made a couple changes from previous that I wanted to show you or highlight. One of which is a pair of pocket doors along this back wall so that if you wanted, these doors could be open, leaving you a six foot wide opening uh, to the hallway with the skylight here. And I feel like that just might create a lot of nice flow and circulation around the house. But if you wanted to close this off to have a little bit more of a private dining experience, you'd be able to do that with these two doors here. Uh, let's see, the island is nicely sized. It's clean, there's nothing on it except for a skylight that happens to also be centered on this existing opening in this wall. The sink will face uh, window out to the left and I love that we're taking advantage of the bump out here to get an even wider kitchen wall here so there's more room on either side of the cooktop and we still have the oven and fridge here the fridge being so close to the dining room and almost uninterrupted from the island is really nice for anyone is who's up in the family room and wants to get a cold drink that's really nice I've also incorporated a full height pantry right here but I've left a gap here for a door to access the side yard. So there's gonna be glass in this door for lots of light as well as glass here at the sink. So plenty of light will come into this kitchen. The skylight will help also. And then if these doors are open, this skylight will help illuminate this side of the dining room. Now, I am open to closing this off if you don't like this idea, but if we do that, I'm likely going to want to shift the skylight away from the island and make it more of a central feature, like a, a large flared skylight uh, shaft that illuminates the dining room over on this side. And I think without the skylight here, there'd still be plenty of light coming from uh, this window wall and then the skylight at the dining room illuminating this side of the island. So let me know what you think about this opening here. But I think this is a, a really nice potential feature, and I really do like this uh, kitchen. So let's turn the corner and see the changes at the master suite. So the master suite has gotten larger. There's now a 15 foot wide bed wall uh, with a bay window and sliding glass doors here. Oh, this chair should scoot down. <laughs> he should be uh, sitting over here, uh, and which would leave this sliding door clear to uh, easily get out uh, of the bedroom and into the, uh, the backyard. And then one change that I had to make is that when we shifted this wall down to get a 15 foot bed wall, 
uh, that did kind of uh, choke down the circulation uh, available to get into the bathroom and the walk-in closet. So I've swapped the walk-in closet and bathroom location. And if we zoom in here, we can see that a pocket door would open and leave you access into the uh, bathroom. And I'm opting to show a, an L-shaped vanity here. Um, and I've shifted the tall linen space into the walk-in closet some. So the walk-in closet has shrunk down. The walk-in closet's gotten a bit compromised, but I still feel like this is a decent walk-in closet. It would work as a walk-in closet. And it is supplemented, of course, by this wall closet right here. I did study also whether or not we could close off this door and just omit this wall and have the access to the closet be through the bathroom. But I do feel like this is better to see the two separate doors here and uh, not eliminating this tall linen storage right here. So I'm curious to know if you like this. I think it's working really well. And then one last thing I wanted to point out is that I do have an altar or shrine space right here in the hallway, illuminated by the skylight here. So uh, stepping out of your bedroom for a morning prayer right here under the skylight, I think would be quite appropriate. Um, and I feel like we're not sacrificing too much closet space here uh, to make this shrine work. Of course, if you wanted the shrine to be wider, we could perhaps omit this desk space here and shift this closet up into the corner and give you an extra wide shrine. So let me know how you feel about that as well. Outside of that, I feel like everything is looking pretty good here. I have built out to every setback. I'm even taking advantage of the slightly wider uh, garage wall here by shifting this out. So I feel like, you know, we're building out just to every setback line now. And I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I hope you like this. And if you do, we'll get started with 3D modeling next week. Thank you guys.